Hi everyone, uh, for Christmas I've just got a DJI Phantom. It's one of the slightly newer ones and there's a few uh, issues I had with it, straight away really, which I thought I'd quickly just post up a short video to, to show you what I did to, to solve them. Uh, one of the issues, just straight off to, to mention, is that these slightly newer controllers, the, the throttle input, or both these sticks, go to centre like that. They, they don't have one throttle stick that goes up and down and you can move it as, as much as you like and it stays where it is. They both go to centre and that apparently is what they're meant to do. So you may look at your instruction manual and think what's going on here but that is apparently normal so don't worry about that. Uh, the second thing, you've got the props, that um, the self-tightening props so you don't follow the instructions. We've taken the, the um, the bolt off and then putting the bolt back on top of the prop and uh, the more important issue is that uh, I found and I think a few people have found from um, the RC Groups forum that I found this out on uh, when you update the firmware and follow basically the, ins the instructions that it tells you to do in your your phantom manual so basically that stuff there when you do that, uh, you put in the uh, uh, update the firmware, make sure that's up to date, and you put in the um, you do the calibration and all that stuff. Um, not so much the compass calibration, but the, this page here. Uh, you you can have a problem, or I had a problem in that uh, basically it caused my transmitter to not be recognised by the Phantom. So. It, it, it had lots of flashing yellow lights and continuous, this, this light at the front here this light here, was just flashing continuously when I had the battery plugged in and the controller on um, and it says in the manual if uh, it's flashing continuously uh, the transmitter signal is lost so I tried rebinding the transmitter by following the instructions that are basically this is the advanced manual which I downloaded and printed out uh, and it tells you to in order to rebind the transmitter you need to remove the housing which I believe it tells you to do somewhere at the back here or how to do it, there you go by removing those screws which I didn't want to do so I went on the forums, I was very confused and frustrated for a couple of days and basically instead of doing that the answer was to go in the assistant the uh, NASA assistant software which hopefully will load up, my computer is a bit slow there we go, so skip that you got the screen here so that is basically the, the screen that you'll get when you put on the NASA assistant, hit assistant and it says to uh, firmware has been released, update, blah blah blah, do this for phantom users after upgrading firmware, please download the default configuration parameters from the DJI website, blah blah blah. blah. So after doing all that, basically when I had my phantom connected and the transmitter on, all these uh, green tabs here, all these were up th at this end and these had very high figures in and so did these, all the figures from this went up and I can't remember where these were, I think these were scattered all around and when I moved my controller so when I moved my, moved my control stick like this instead of these reacting and, and moving around nothing was happening but what was confusing was that it says in the instructions that when you when the transmitter is not bound to the uh, receiver, you'll get a light come on inside inside the fan, which you can actually see. That basically, it's like the binding light, which is just inside and up there. I think you, there's a button there, which you can see that black button. Just behind that's a light. So I tested that by basically turning off the transmitter when the, when the phantom was on, and the light did come on. As soon as I turned on the transmitter, the light went off. So I kind of thought, hold on, this is binded because it's reacting how you would expect it to react. But anyway, so I went on the forum 
uh, rcgroups.com and other people had had this issue so all I was told to do quite simply was to go into basic go into RC and this is where you calibrate your transmitter or where you feel about with your transmitter you can do reversing and other things and it tells you're checking basically I think that your 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 sticks are doing what you're asking them to do and I changed it from here PPM which is here I changed it to D bus which is in the middle now I, I use remote control cars quite a lot and I've got loads of videos of remote control cars but this stuff to me all this this these different diagrams here you know of wiring things and stuff this means nothing to me you know I know, didn't know what that was so I left that well alone because I thought I don't want to ruin this anymore so I never fiddled with that when I was um, had this yellow flashing light problem so I changed it to D-Bus which is in the middle here and I did I think it was I cycled it so I took the battery out and put the battery in again and lo and behold when I then turned it on and plugged it back into this uh, view this NASA assistant everything worked or well, everything was reacting these were suddenly moving they were in green and they were moving around all these values were good or they weren't they weren't what they were before and uh, now I can get the motors to start and I, I haven't flown it because the weather is so bad but it seemed to solve the problem so basically this is the weather here where I live it's not not good at all it's stormy and wet and cold and horrible so that seems to have solved the problem. I have also uh, recalibrated the transmitter and hopefully I'll be getting some videos out of this flying soon. I will be doing a video of the first flight so there's lots of videos online of course of, of the, the main man showing you how to fly this thing and other people but uh, I'm interested to see if that's reality, or, or for me, if that's the reality of, of, of it. Will I just turn it on and be able to fly it up in the air and it'll hover and it'll be quite easy? I'm hoping it will be. Uh, but we will see. So, there'll be more videos to come. But yeah, yellow flashing light that you can't get rid of, try that. It might work for you. It works for me. Thanks for watching.